talk. Hey guys, welcome back to Switching to Plan B. We are in Rocky, Rocky Bayou State, State Park. Park. In Niceville, Florida. Yeah. So we just got back last night around 5 o'clock. We ended up staying at a Walmart overnight in Santa Rosa Beach. Mm -hmm. Don't tell anybody because they never let anybody stay there. They kind of frown upon that. Yeah. He was super nice and let us, though. So. Yeah. Assistant Manager Chris. Yes, Shout Assistant out. Manager Chris didn't told us not to tell anybody, but Assistant Manager Chris let us stay there, so that was kind of cool. He did a really good job. Yeah. So of course we had to buy groceries there, and we stocked up, spent the night, left about seven o'clock. And uh, who are you going to give a shout out to? Nate and Marissa with Less Junk, More Journey. Thank you guys. We watch your um, vlogs and there was the one um, about length of your RV when it comes to um, parks or just campgrounds in general. So tongue to bumper, ours is 29 feet, one quarter inch um, long. And when we have the slide out right there, it's five foot, so it's 20, or 34. 34. And uh, we are actually in a spot that's meant for a 20 foot. Mm -hmm. And we've got... A ton of room. There's so much space. So we have enough room right now that with ours fully out, you can see right here, here's the fence that is the end of our lot. And ours is fully slid out to that fence. In front of it, we have enough to... Uh, park and extended cab uh, Mitsubishi Raider and then beside that we ended up putting green ghost the green ghost we stuck the green ghost there and uh, we have plenty of room um, yeah. they were super cool um, we just rolled in this morning and talked to him and he said if you can fit yeah so last night we found we found this one spot with two openings for today and tomorrow or tonight and tomorrow night and um, for the 20 foot. So Mariah had watched the episode and, uh, decide, we decided, <laughs> no. you watched the episode and convinced me. No, you weren't even convinced. All right. She didn't convince me. She told me that we were going to go do this. And I said, no, cause it's like a, it's like a 45 minute drive. I didn't want to load up again, leave the area that we were at and, uh, go check this place out. Cause I was like, no, there's like. No chance. 85% chance that we would not make, they wouldn't let us do this. Well, sure enough, we got here and uh, asked the dimensions of our trailer. And uh, they're like, ah, whatever. whatever. Give it a shot. So, we're here. Here we are. Here we are. But we've been here before. Uh, we, Yeah, we've hiked here before. Just to hike and things, uh, not to camp or anything. But, uh, yeah, it's a really beautiful spot. Uh, in Niceville, so. Super nice. There was one point last year, yesterday, while we were driving, and I love it, when you go from 30 degrees, and you drive south, and you keep driving south, and then the gray skies turn to blue skies, and uh, it gets, you could just feel the warmth coming, and then all of a sudden, you have to stop and get fuel, you pull over, you fuel up, and it's like, the clothes you were wearing, the, the jeans and the sweaters and the hats, uh, all of a sudden become really hot and you're sitting there fueling up <laughs> and you're starting to sweat and you're like, oh man, we got to change into shorts now. I like those trips. And that's what happened yesterday. And on that note, prayers to everyone who's going through flooding and stuff. I, we hope you guys are safe and don't yeah, have too kind much of a... damages bad deal when we were coming out of Kentucky we had to kind of dodge roads that were under underwater Holy cow, that's mm -hmm. so we took a lot of back roads <laughs> yes <laughs> Cherokee's it's so nice here that Cherokee's using the outside shower to Freezing shower cold outside shower he doesn't want to be on film but you know on video hey Cherokee how's the outside shower Freezing. <laughs> uh, oh and the really good aspect of, of this 
state park uh, RV site as well is it's only 18 bucks a night. It's $18, but they don't have uh, sewer. They have water and power. No Wi-Fi or TV. Which is fine. It's fine for us. That. I don't care. We don't yeah, we kind of do okay. this to get away from the, the TV and the internet and all that kind of stuff. We like yeah. the internet because we can upload videos to you guys and watch some cool stuff that you guys have put out. But uh, as far as TV goes, who give? Who cares? So, and we're downsizing too. So we're here. Um, Getting rid of so much stuff. Come to find out that the next job that, or the next thing that I'm going to be doing, hopefully, uh, and we'll let you know later on what, what that is, but um, the next Big thing, changes are coming. Yeah, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is, um, well, I'll have, I have to train for, more for, and uh, what? So we'll see. We'll see what happens with we'll that. We'll see what happens. I got kicked. But we're... Um, Downsizing. We have a, a garage or a storage area here. Oh, that yeah, we have so to... that gives us time to downsize. Yes. I wanted to say it. I didn't want you to say it. Oh. Whatever. So we get we have time to downsize. So we've already um, sold one thing since we got here into, from our like storage garage. We sold one thing, mm -hmm. and we're going to meet with somebody else tonight and Just sell you know. something else. Mm -hmm. Get rid of Oh, one thing um, she found out is ever since we got this camper and hooked up and started uh, traveling with it, um, when we stick on the sway bar, it makes noise. Now, you have the you have the weight distribution hitch that comes off the sides of the hitch, and that's fine. But when we put on the sway bar, it makes a lot of noise. Clicking. Like when we, and I didn't realize it just by listening to other people with their campers and stuff, but or their travel trailers and things, that um, when you have it on, if you have it too tight, it'll make a lot of noise, but ours, we have to loose, we have, we loose on up, or ours, we make it just snug um, to keep the trailer from swaying when we go down the road at 55, 60 miles an hour. Um, but it has to be just snug enough, so, it is common for, or she found out that it is common for these sway bars to make noise. Um, Almost, a, it's kind of like a, like a grinding, like a, a like a really, rubbing, it, grinding noise. Yeah, it's like noise. a rubbing, but yeah. it's 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 a friction plate inside it, yeah, there that it's um, preventing it from swaying. Yeah. If anybody has any ideas on how to not have it sway or not make to noise. reduce the noise. Yeah, because when we drive down the road, it doesn't make any noise, but if we make a little little turn um it's, curves yeah well, it not starts really to big especially b backing up we tend to just take it off or loosen it all the way up when we back up just so we don't break anything off but uh yeah in town it's kind of embarrassing and it gets a lot of attention so any ideas on how to reduce, reduce that? that yeah let us know um we're told not to grease it or i guess not you're not supposed to grease it so maybe you are i don't know let us know if anybody knows. Other than that, we're going to continue cleaning up, getting rid of our crap, excess stuff, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.